What's up guys, I'm Harrison from Fast and Cheap here. It's a little bit cold and a little bit dark, so I'm gonna make this intro quick. Um, as some of you guys know, adaptive cruise control is on most vehicles. But what we're gonna try to find today is if using adaptive cruise control on the highway increases fuel efficiency. This Dodge Charger here is one of the worst uh, fuel efficient vehicles that are sold new as of current times of recording. And we're gonna see um, a quick comparison of fuel economy on the highway of using adaptive cruise and not using adaptive cruise and just normal standard cruise. So we're gonna do a bit of a drive of about maybe 10, 20 miles on a highway here in Ohio um, with adaptive on and then we're gonna come back the other way with adaptive off and just standard cruise control. So uh, we're gonna test the fuel economy differences and go from there. Let's do it. Well, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the scat pack out. Um, Harris is gonna be driving, I'll be the camera guy. Um, and we are going to get up to cruising speed. So let's say 70 miles an hour, do the same speed on both when we started off. And then we're gonna run 15 or so miles. We're gonna do it the same either way. But we're gonna get a cruising speed, reset the, uh, the gas mileage, and then we'll just see where it goes from there and see who wins. So I'm gonna say, um, Adaptive cruise control, we're gonna get we're gonna get 21 miles per gallon, and then by being gentle on the on the throttle um, without the adaptive on, I say we get 22. So that's right. my prediction. I'll turn it over to Harrison for his prediction. Before we do any science, how about we get a cold start? All right. Here, let's rock this real quick. We'll go around. We'll go around. It's not really cold, but it's cold. It's Eight cold. Warm. It's cold outside. It's a, it's a lukewarm start. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah, oh yeah. Not gonna get good gas mileage like that so Harrison coming to pick me up after peeling out um, yeah I would say I would say hey man let's turn this scat pack into a hybrid man yeah let's Jump do it so what are you what are you thinking gas mileage so nice. here this is I haven't reset it yet but with normal use that's the top speed from uh, close courses. I average 15.3 okay. um, with a mix of city and highway. So what I'm gonna do, I think there's a second. Yeah, they're just two different um, economy clusters here. So we're gonna reset them once we hit the speed limit of the highway we're going on at 70 miles an hour. So once we hit 70 miles an hour, right? Yep. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna get up to 70 miles an hour, turn adaptive cruise on, reset it. All right. And then drive 15 miles let's say um and then once we get there we'll cut it off we'll record that and then uh we'll do it the other way around so Dope. so we are uh we're merging onto the highway we're getting up to uh the speed limit is 25 miles per hour where we are not going to be doing 25 miles an hour <laughs> um but we are getting up to speed and going to reset the odometer we're going to start with adaptive cruise control we're going to do probably about 10 miles so it's 65 miles an hour actually, and I'm gonna reset it now and set the cruise for let's say 65. So nothing crazy, no no rigorous driving or anything. We're just gonna wait and see and uh, get the results here in a bit. And uh, also we wanna we wanna state that we are on uh, eco mode, so we're not yes. gonna be on like track mode or whatever. Um, we're just seeing the best that it can do. So we will update you guys in a little bit. All right. Bye. All right. We are getting off. So we did our 10 miles and look at what we got. We did about uh, nine, 10 miles here. Um, just got off here at the border of uh, Michigan and actually averaged really, really well. You'll be able to see it right there. We did almost 28 miles a gallon with adaptive cruise on. Um, not touching it, 
not doing anything insane, just driving a few miles with adaptive cruise. So we're gonna turn around here, go back the other way with manual cruise control and uh, see if there's any difference in practical use. All right, so trial two here, we're pulling on to the on-ramp here. And uh, once we get to 65 miles an hour again, we'll reset the uh, uh, fuel economy gauge and uh, set uh, manual cruise on here in a second once I merge in. All right, so. Quite the, quite the surprise on the adaptive cruise control. Um, beat out all of our predictions so far. Definitely. Let's, uh, let's right. see if we're off again. 65 so. miles an hour on manual cruise and uh, reset the uh, gauge cluster in eco mode again. We'll see what, what happens. Getting off the exit for the, right. for the cruise control here. Just turned it off. How'd we do? About 27 and a half, 27 points eight. Well, it's going up because just because I'm coasting to the stoplight here, but it's a uh, pretty close call, I'll say that for sure. Um, it seems to be all in all that the adaptive cruise did better. Um, with the manual cruise, I didn't even have to turn it off or accelerate or anything. Um, just in the traffic conditions I was in. So I feel it was a pretty fair thing, even though there's a lot of variables in this test. Um, sure, I think we did it as fair as we could. All right, guys, all in all, we found a one mile a gallon increase in efficiency with using adaptive cruise versus a manual cruise. My guess is that the throttle response uh, when it's controlled through computer is a bit softer than something uh, manually. So I think that um, allows the efficiency to be a bit better. Um, but guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you a ton. Hope you consider subscribing and leave a comment if you had any other question or comment. We read them all. We appreciate them all. And most importantly, have a great day.